Hello, my YouTube friends. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite purchases from Hermes, other than handbags, obviously. And uh, a lot of you guys have messaged me and asked what other items that I purchased from Hermes before I score my Birkin or my Constance. So today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite category that I purchased from Hermes. As you see, like I have a lot of identical like orange boxes uh, which is the fine jewelry i absolutely adore the design and all the different like jewelry pieces that hermes uh, introduced and even some of their newer design really really caught my eye so today i'm just going to share with you and um, as you see like i also got this from the home goods session so this very cute uh, sushi plate i think it's from like the mosaic collection and this is in the silver color i think um, instead of using this to hold sushis um, I think this is a great plate for uh, jewelries. Um, so I just use this to hold my watches and my rings and sometimes my necklace. Um, so if you are into Hermes, I highly, highly recommend this piece to you. I think it's below 200 bucks price point. So I think it is a really good purchase and a great gift idea too. Okay, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Uh, what got me into Hermes jewelry is actually my wedding band. Um, so as you know, I got engaged at the end of 2019 and then, you know, the pandemic hit and husband and I were kind of like browsing online and we also visited a couple stores to try to find the perfect wedding bands that goes well with my engagement ring. By the way, like this engagement ring is absolutely stunning and my husband got it uh, from the Tiffany's and if you're interested in learning more about my engagement ring, I'm going to link some videos um, on the top right so you can check it out um, but we went to a lot of different places like the Cartier, Harry and Winston, also like Tiffany's, like Gary, other some other like jewelry brands but we just couldn't find the piece that really like you know go well with my you know engagement ring because I think it is just like absolutely beautiful just by itself and at the same time like we're looking for something that is really unique and I don't want to like have the same type of engagement ring as like everybody else. So um, that's why I was a little bit picky. And then I was also into Hermes and I learned that they recently introduced their wedding ring collection. And I thought, why don't I just give it a shot and see whether um, I like that. And it turned out I fell in love with this um, ring. I think I did another video uh, about like this ring specifically, but I think back then when they first introduced it, the um I guess the price point for their wedding bands are really really reasonable. So you see like this is matchy matchy. So for mine, I think it comes with a little diamonds around the H logo here. Well, for my husband, I think it's more like um plain without the diamond. But uh, again, like both of them are made of like platinum and they also have, um, you know, like the wedding band that come in rose gold um, because of the difference in material. I think for those ones, they're a little bit cheaper. Um, and, you know, recently, to be honest, like today I'm filming this video on like August 1st and today they announced another round of price increase at Hermes, especially for their jewelry session. So I literally just checked the price point for my um, wedding band. I think when I first bought it, um, you know, like the platinum one uh, with the diamonds, it's retailed as like $15.25. And now it's already over 1900 US dollar. So that's enough, you know, like 500 more expensive compared to when I bought it. So I feel like, yeah, if you want to get anything from Hermes, it's better to buy it early rather than later. And what's so unique about this is you see like the little H and I think it is very subtle and then you don't really see, it's not quite obvious. And for my husband, because like he's, um, you know, initial is like H, like the initial for his last name is H. So I think this is just a perfect uh, engagement ring for both of us. And speaking of the price increase, usually they have the price increase in the beginning of the year. But this year, somehow, like, you know, 
On August 1st, they had another round of price increase. I guess that's probably because of the really high inflation that everyone uh, everyone is suffering at the moment. So Hermes had decided to you know, uh, increase the prices for their fine jewelry again. I also heard that they're going to increase like the prices for the watches, um, but I haven't seen that on their website. Um, but if you're interested, I, I would be happy to link some of the before and after picture um, of the price points um, here in the US. Okay, so moving on to the next items. Oh, by the way, if you're interested in, you know, like the Hermes wedding series, um, you can definitely go check out their website. My friend also get another design um, of wedding bands from Hermes and she also love it. And um, so I really recommend it compared to some really like bigger brands out there. I think their price point is really reasonable. But one thing I want to, you know, point out before I move on to the next item is because I think this is kind of like very smooth um, kind of design. You see like already all this like different scratches um, on the ring itself. I think for us, for me and my husband, we, do, we don't really care because like I think this shows like the wear and also like the time that we spend together. So I think it's kind of like, you know, uh, marks all the history and all the like great experiences and memories that we had together. But if you're, you know, like um, those who are kind of concerned about scratches, maybe you can check out some other options that is more like scra uh, scratch resistant, or maybe you like get the one with all the diamonds so that you don't need to worry about the scratches. Okay, cool. So moving on to the next piece. One thing I highly, highly recommend to everybody who's into Hermes or want to build their Hermes journey is the finesse necklace. I love this necklace so much and I think I've been wearing this pretty much non-stop. You know, every time when I want kind of a sparkle on around my neck area, I will go for this necklace. I think it is very low key. Like if people are not into a mask, like they wouldn't tell which brand it is from. But I just love the simple design of this finesse necklace. I think, you know, I love the aesthetic of it and um, the fact that it looks really simple um, and also like this the diamonds are really, really bright and, you know, like shiny uh, when it's under like the sunlight. And um, what I picked for, you know, like the rose gold version, they also come in the white gold version. I think for white gold, it's a little bit more expensive compared to the rose gold. And for the finesse necklace, because it is so popular, I believe they also had multiple rounds of price increase for this particular item. So the finesse necklace, when I first got it, I think it was, um, you know, towards the end of 2020. I paid around like 4,600 US dollar for this necklace. And I just checked the price point today. Um, after, you know, like the most recent price increase, I think for this particular necklace, it is around, you know, 5,000 something in the mid 5,000 US dollars. So almost, you know, like a thousand dollars higher uh, compared to when I first purchased it. So it, it is really like, you know, going up quite a lot. So for those of you who are still hesitating, who are into this necklace, but don't know like whether you should get it, my suggestion is it's better to get it, you know, earlier rather than later. Um, but yeah, I, I really like it. And some of my friends got, you know, like the white gold version. I think the white gold looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but for me, I think rose gold, you know, matches my uh, the color of my skin or like the, you know, like the undertone of my skin. And also see like it matches with my AP watch too, uh, because it has a little bit like white, um, yellow gold or rose gold here. Sorry, yeah, rose gold. So I really like this, but um, if you want, you know, a necklace that really like kind of like shines, and I think the one that comes with the, you know, the white gold version, it's, you know, more sparkly, especially around the chain. Um, but yeah, highly, highly recommended to anyone who wants to get a necklace from Hermes. And it comes with this bigger box here. And you see like all four smaller boxes are for the Hermes ring. And 
now you might know that other than the wedding band, I also got two more rings from Hermes, and that was quite recent. I'm actually really glad that I was able to, you know, get them before the price increase today. So um, let me just introduce them to you. So the first one, it is this cute baby. So both of the rings are in rose gold. You see, like, I'm really into rose gold lately. I think mainly because, you know, for my engagement ring and uh, the wedding band, they are in platinum. So if you, if I wear them on my, you know, um, on the left hand, you see like it's really, really pretty. But at the same time, I also want to kind of mix and match, especially after I got my, you know, like AP, the two-toned AP watch in stainless steel and also the rose gold. I kind of want to get rings that are also in the rose gold. I think that will go really perfectly with my watch and I want to wear it on my right hand. So that's why I was debating really hard between these two cuties. And um, I originally fell for this one. I think by looking at the design, it is a little bit similar to the finesse necklace, but um, I think I believe it is under a different collection or a different design. I'm just going to link um, the details and the pictures of this ring um, to the, the video so that you can check it out. But um, for this other one, I also really like it. I think they are in totally different design. And um, when I try it in the store, I immediately fell for it. So look how cute it is. I think this uh, ring remind a lot of people of like the, the Cartier love ring because like the design is just like very similar. It has this kind of like bolt gear uh, band here. And um, to be honest, I wasn't really into like some wider band rings uh, before I tried this one on, but after I tried it, I really, really like it because I feel like this ring has more of a casual vibe compared to some of the, you know, like the thinner bands. And um, I think it goes really well with my watch, which is more on the spotty side. Um, instead of more of a feminine watch. And I think it's just like very sporty and very casual, very, you know, effortless chic. So I really, really like this ring. Um, and also it wears really comfortably on my fingers. So, and you don't really feel anything when you wear it. And um, I think it's just like a really gorgeous piece. Uh, for this one, when I bought it, I think last month, it was still around 2,500 US dollar. But when I checked again this morning, I think now the price is 2,800 US dollar. So almost, you know, 300 bucks higher or another like 10 to 15% increase in pricing. So yeah, so if you are interested, yes, now is the time to snap it before the price go up even higher. And um, last but not least, so like the one that I absolutely love is this one. I, I don't know how to pronounce this name. I think it's like Impacho or something, part of my French. I'm going to link all the details in this video too. So this one I fell for its design. I think it's so simple yet elegant. And it's so unique. You don't really see this design from any other brands. And I love they have like this line of diamonds attached to the um to the rose gold here. See like how pretty they look together with my watch. I think my AP watch is definitely the one to blame. Cause like after getting this, I've been thinking about getting all this like rose gold, you know, jewelries for like the rings. But um, yeah, I'm just really glad that I got it. So this one, when I purchased it, um, I think it, it's around like 2,800 US dollar. I don't know what's the new price for this piece, but um, I'm pretty sure it also went through another round of price increase too. Um, I'm so glad that I got it, I guess, a week before. Because like when my sales associate told me that she also has this one in stock, I was a little bit hesitant because I just literally, I just got this one. And I was like, should I get two rose gold ring, you know, like in such a short period of time? And now thinking back, I think I made the right decision because I know ultimately I'm going to get both of them. And it's better to get them before the price increase. So what do you think, guys? 
like between these two, which one do you like more? Do you like this one or like this one with more of an open design? And one thing I want to point out for those uh, those of you who don't really get a chance to try on the sizes for the rings, I think you it's better that you try it in person. Why? It is because when I got my engagement, well, my wedding band, I think um, I got it in size 51. So I thought 51 was my size. So when I got this one, I ordered the same size, which is size 51, and it arrived but it was really tight for my finger. Even when I try it on different fingers, I feel like it's still much tighter compared to my wedding band. I think that might be because, you know, like the uh, the band itself is a little bit thicker uh, or wider. So that's why when you wear it on your finger, it's more tight compared to the regular band. Um, so this is size 52. But for <laughs> this ring, I know I literally got it maybe a few weeks after I got this one, but my sales associate told me to go size down for this particular design because let me take it out. So if you look at the design of the ring, you see like this, there's a little gap here because of the design. So she said like compared to other, you know, regular sizes, the size for this ring might run large. So for this one, I actually go down size a little bit and I got it in size 50 and it just works perfect for me. I think it's, size 50 is even a little bit loose for me. So yeah, for those of you who are interested, here's the sizing reference. So I got 51 for this one, 52 for the wider band and size 50 uh, because of the open design. All right. So guys, this is all the, you know, like the jewelry pieces that I recommend from Hermes. I know that those, this are not expen uh, are not cheap pieces. They are expensive. But if you're looking to, you know, build your purchase history with Hermes, for me, like personally, instead of buying like clothing or uh, something that you might not even use, um, I will, you know, prefer something that you can wear or use on a daily basis. I know a lot of uh, girls would love to buy things from their home goods session. And for me, like the favorite, you know, session or like the cat, uh, category that I shop for is fine jewelries. And I just personally really like the design from Hermes and I highly, highly recommend them to anybody who's interested. All right. Okay, I thank you for watching today's video. I hope you find it helpful. If you like it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do more unboxing soon. If you're interested in learning more about my AP watches, I might do unboxing really soon because I just got offered another AP watch. So if you're interested, let me know and I can do a video and maybe an unboxing of my new AP purchase. And um, yeah, please stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.